Hey there YouTube, this is Wine of R19 here with another review for you. And today we're gonna take a look into the uh, Stephen King's uh, in the movie, not the book, sadly. This movie, um it was a huge letdown for me. I've enjoyed a few some some of the Stephen King miniseries, but this one, man, oh my god. Like compared to the book, this thing was so disappointing to me. It could have been so much more. I know it was a, t a mini series for TV. But come on, man. I mean, it uh, Pennywise. He is perfectly cast. Uh, Tim Curry is perfect for Pennywise. He's a freaking riot in this movie, man. He's but he doesn't even get that much screen time in this movie. His total uh, screen time is probably like half an hour out of a hundred and uh, eighty-seven minutes. This movie, the book is so long, so long, and this movie is over. Uh, uh. uh Three hours and seven minutes, and it drags so much. Not one time when I was reading the book did it drag this much in this movie. There's such pointless dialogue in this movie. So in the character development here, little, there is so much character development I and mean, too much character development. They really, this movie was bad, man. Henry Bauer was way over the top. Everything was way over the top. He meant Pennywise himself, but he was fun over the top. But this movie, man, like, I just really couldn't get into it. The, the finale, the finale of this movie was so boring, man. I mean, I'm not boring out. Well, it was boring, but it was such a letdown. It was, like, it was a fail of epic proportions. I really did not enjoy the end of this movie at all. Um, I bought it. It was a blind buy. I heard it was bad. I'm like, yeah, it can't be that bad, but shit was I wrong. This movie was just... Terrible. I've seen it twice already, and that's six hours and 14 minutes. I'll never get back. This movie, man, this wow, wow, man, this movie was just bad, like beyond belief. I couldn't really get into it at all. There were a few things I actually enjoyed, like when uh, with Tim Curry in the library, with uh, I forgot his name, but um, but that was like the only enjoyable part of this movie, and um. God, it was so it was so boring, man. It wasn't scary. The effects were terrible. I know it's an old movie, but it's from ninety what now, man. It's TV movie too. It's from nineteen ninety. Come on, man. I've seen way better effects. I know that some of them. I've seen way better TV movie effects for t for um the nineties than this movie. This movie had terrible effects. Um, Freddy's Nightmares, for instance. Then I come out in the eighties, early nineties. The freaking effects on that were way better than this. That's for sure. Effects were freaking terrible, man. Like, I really didn't like this movie at all. It had a few redeeming factors, but very slightly. The book is one of the best books I've ever read. And in my opinion, this movie raped that book hard. This movie just. I really didn't like it at all, really. I mean, I thought about it, and I don't really like it at all. As just a few things I like about it. And, uh, Tim Curry was definitely the highlight of this movie. He stole the show in this movie for me. I really enjoyed him in this movie. But the ending, man, when he turns into a giant spider, that's stupid, man. The original movie was badass. He, like, laid eggs and everything. The like original book was actually scary. And this one, all it does before he actually tries to kill someone near the end of the first half of the movie in the sewer, all he freaking does is say you're gonna float and show his teeth. Oh, that's so scary, shit. God, this movie just, if you're curious enough, check it out, but I'm really not at all a fan of this movie. I give it, I'll give it one out of four stars, just cause, just for Tim Curry. And if they do, make, I heard there's a lot of rumors about a remake, and if they do remake the movie, I want Tim Curry to come back as Pennywise. So I want it to be a lot more serious, and I want it to be a, a more darker movie than this was. I think it was a joke. I don't even think they showed his monster hands like that. Yeah, his monster hands right there. I don't think they showed those in the movie. But yeah, really disappointing movie. Um, check it out if you want. You can find that title for like seven bucks. But this is Wine of Water 1980 here saying goodbye, YouTube.